you know that the Blantons is, uh, it, it, it is uh, distilled at the Buffalo Trace uh, distillery. It's from their uh, mash bill. I, they don't really disclose the mash bill, but uh, the, 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 the rumors on the street, which we, we get on our computer, and the interesting things, they did vary quite a bit. But uh, we're getting a mash bill, and it varies anywhere from 68% corn you know, to, to 74, 75% corn, 20% uh, rye, 12% barley. Uh, that can vary. So I'm going to say a 68, 20, 12, or it could be a, uh, it could be a 73, 15, uh, maybe 10, or 70, pardon me, uh, a 12. Or it, it could also be, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it this way, it's going to be placing the corn around, you know, the, the, the 70 plus and probably the, the, the rye anywhere from 15 to 20 percent and the barley 10 to 12 percent. So that seems to be what, and that's on different sites and different, because we're not, it's undisclosed. So um, that's basically an interesting thing about the, the Blantons is it's, uh, you know, the, the Blanton family has been in the bourbon business since what, the 1800s and all that. So um, it, it, this is a product that has been so established in, in, you know, in the States and in, all over the world, really. Um, the interesting thing is I had a friend that um, he tried Blantons for the first time in Japan. And he was just raging about it. And so we ended up, we saw some Blantons coming up. And I was going after the gold, a few guys in the lineup there that I kind of felt sorry for them because they'd been all night waiting to pick this stuff up. So I actually had a chance to get the gold and I gave that guy the gold. I was being a good Samaritan. But anyways, so I, I ended up picking up the, the regular straight, which I'd had before. But, and this is an oldie goldie. Uh, we all know Blanton. It's always hard to get. It's one that uh, I'm certainly more familiar with than the Heaven's Door. The Heaven's Door is the new, it's the new guy on the block. And um, we're going to start off with the nose. And again, much gentler, much gentler than the, um, the Heaven's Door. You know, probably best way to describe this guy is uh, not near the spices it's got some uh, some sweetness light fruits uh, probably a bit of the apple stuff going on here cherries maraschino cherries maybe um, getting very light bit of cinnamon with the apple um, Pecans, toasted pecans. A little bit of that cornbread, cornbread with honey. It's interesting, I always get hay with uh, blends. I don't know why that is. A little bit of my, my uh, background. Uh, hanging around the barn, you know, <laughs> with the hay bales. I had horses, my, my kids had horses, yeah. Um, the spices that are coming through, it's like a little bit of cinnamon and maybe a little bit of nutmeg mixed with lemon peel. But the apple is there. The apple, maybe a bit of pear. Okay, Alan, cheers. Syrupy, yeah, very syrupy body to this. Um, this is a 46.5, I believe, 46 point, somewhere in that range. Uh, just looking for a number here. What is it? 46 and a half, yeah. 93 proof. Nice, uh, very nice uh, mouthfeel to this here. Almost a velvet coating. Yeah, there's times I love this stuff, you know. 
I could be not all over the place, but uh, you know, I I can tell tonight this is a nice drink. Um, it's definitely not hitting me the way the the uh, Heaven Store did for spices. The spices are light. Um, I'm getting, like I say, a little bit of cinnamon, but more the sweet. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say the apple cooked almost like cooked apple 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 pie, but not. You know, not as sweet as apple crumble, you know. Uh, maybe some cooked pears, um, stewed pears. And um, not, I'm not getting much of a tongue burn like I did on the, uh, the Heaven's Door there. Or the Kentucky Hug that I got on the, on the uh, Heaven's Door. But um, I'm getting the nuts, candied nuts. And... Um, Oh, she's going. Let's top her up. Oh boy, yeah. Now we're getting the uh, vanilla cake. And, uh, well, maybe even some cherries here. Maraschino cherries. Cherry pie. And a little bit of that light tobacco in the background there with a little bit of chocolate. Wow. Um, I don't even have to do the finish on this one here. It's a little bit longer than the uh, the Heaven's Door. It's coating my tongue. Well, we, we can officially do the finish right now, but it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little longer than the Heaven's Door. It does it does bring out a little bit more of the um, of the spices. That's for sure. We're getting a little bit more, uh, getting a little more pepper. But you know, I'm not getting tannins. I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting astringency or anything like that. It's, um, it, like it's nice. It's it's very nice spices. You know, it's it's lighter than the uh, the Heaven's Door. It doesn't have the sharp spices. It's not the hot spices. Um, like I say, a little bit of pepper, maybe a little bit of white pepper mixed in with a little bit of um, nutmeg, um, cherries. But the, the finish is going to be, uh, if the other finish on the Heaven Store was a short medium, this is a medium. So let's throw some water in it and see what's going on. I've done this before with blends, so there, there's a little bit of cheating going on here. <laughs> and and I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm more comfortable, you know, doing the review on the Blantons. The Heaven's Door is new. Uh, I'm still exploring it, so this is an easier one to do. And I always, I always love the the nose of a Blantons, and when you add water, it just amplifies it. So. I'm getting the apples, I'm getting the pears, I'm, I'm actually getting maybe even a bit of pineapple. And uh, I'm getting also a little bit of um, the corn still, that's amazing, cornbread, I'm still getting the cornbread. Oh, it's nice, it's got a beautiful nose. You could, this is a perfume. Uh, cherries, uh, or cherry filling, the cherry filling for um, cherry pie. Maybe cherries on a vanilla cake. <laughs> oh, so slight tobacco on the tail end here. But again, it just doesn't have the, the, the sharp notes of the spices that the uh, Heaven's Door has. So, palate. Well, dessert. That's the first thing I get is dessert. Vanilla cake. Vanilla, vanilla cake with uh, the vanilla icing with a, a cherry on top. And um, the cornbread, it's sweeter. 
I'm not quite tasting the oak right now, and I'm certainly not. Um, I was getting some grain there earlier, and a wee bit of that hay stuff has kind of turned more to. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna identify it with. Um, it's almost like a, an alfalfa smell in, in a barn. But I've, I can get, I'm getting it right now in my nose, eh? <laughs> but um, for the palate, um, it's definitely, there's more, there's definitely a, a, a mellower, uh, smoother, without, you know, with, with, I'm not destroying the layers when I add the water here, because I didn't add a lot of water. I'm still getting layers, but it's just got a smoothness about it. <clears throat> it's just mellower. Um, there is some spices now coming through though, so I'm going to give it the finish because on the finish I seem to get more of the spices. And that's of course with water. Let's see what the water did to the finish. Um, cinnamon. <clears throat> It's a, it, very light on the tobacco now. <clears throat> More of that, that ancient pipe tobacco I talked about, the, the amphora. Um, I forget which, it was the rum flavored stuff, yeah. Very smooth stuff, yeah. But uh, maybe even a little bit of shortbread here. This is actually, uh, the water didn't destroy the, uh, I felt like the water took a lot out of the Heaven's Door. It doesn't seem to take as much out. I, I think I added pretty much the same amount of water. So the finish on this is definitely longer than the Heaven's Door. I don't know why. I thought the Heaven's Door, because it seems to be a heavy hitter, uh, this has more of a tongue coating. This is more syrupy. So anyways, um, Let's give this guy a score. Um, definitely, I gave, I think, the Heaven's Door a, a 77. The Blanton's is definitely going to be closer to an 80. Uh, 79, 80, somewhere in that range there. It, it, it's just so consistent. And, you know, I don't go race out and to look for a Blanton's. Uh, it's a good whiskey. There's other good whiskeys out there. We've got some good Canadian whiskeys that are close to what a bourbon, you know, represents. Like I just did one on a, um, a, a whiskey called 90. It's 20 years old. Well, I guess a 20 year old whiskey should be a player, but um, it's, it's, it's got the smoothness, or we'll say Blanton has the smoothness that that 20 year old whiskey has. And this is not 20 years old. We're lucky if we got eight years out of this. So it's just a good whiskey. So I'm gonna give this, uh, in all fairness, I, I think it deserves, a, I, I'm gonna give it a, a, a 79 at least. I think a 79. We gave the Heaven's Door a 77, 79, 80. Uh, give it an 80. This is always somewhere in that range, 79, 80. Tonight it's an 80. Okay. Anyways, well that's it for our Blanton's video. And as as I usually do, I'm going to ask you to drink wisely, drink intelligently, do not drink and drive. And until the next time, cheers.